at ShaneStars with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the Eclipse ROM for the Ryzen Galaxy Note 2. Now this ROM is made by Nitroglycerin33 and I've been running his stuff since the Bionic days. I've ran it on just about all the devices that I've owned. He currently released his first build for the Galaxy Note 2 and he's all the way up to version 1.2 so he's already working out all the bugs. And uh, this is basically a very stable build. It's built on VR ALL4 over the air uh, touch whiz. So you have all of your touch whiz functionality. Uh, if we press and hold the back button, we've got our multi window here. And if we go into settings, you'll see that we have our S Pen functionality as well as our one handed operation. And so that's one of the great things about running a TouchWiz ROM. I know that we don't have all the customization options like we would in, say, Signage Mod 10 or AOKP, but we have all the functionality that our phone came with. And if you're like me, you've got to have the uh, one-handed operation. I'm kind of a short guy, 5'10", and my hands are not very big, so I've got to have that one-handed operation on such a big device. So we'll kind of jump into the ROM. There's, like I said, not a ton of settings. Um, if we go into settings, we have power widgets, and that's that's about it for now on Eclipse settings. You can choose the buttons that you would like to be displayed in your toggle bar, uh, which is up top there. And then you have brightness modes and sound modes, and then you can change the order of your toggles. And that's about it for customization. Now, he does have a battery pack that I'll show you guys how to install with the ROM. And then he also has the toggle pack, and uh, he's got a pure stock AOSP package as well so there's a few little customizations that you can flash while you're flashing the ROM uh, as you guys can see I've got the digital battery percentage mod there and I've got the blue toggles there as well so that's that's about it for customization I will say this is a very solid stable ROM and it moves very fluidly very fast as you guys can see uh, battery life has been pretty good here I'm at 35 percent and it's 5.30 and this thing's been unplugged since about 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, so we're looking at, you know, 10 hours and I'm at 35%. So that's not bad. Uh, there's no custom wallpapers yet. I'm sure that's something that he will be adding. And we He's removed the provisioning on the tethering. So we can go into settings and go into tethering and turn that on and it will work. I'm sorry, the mobile hotspot. We can turn that on and it will work because he has removed that provisioning. So he's also done an inverted theme throughout. So all of your white elements in your applications will be blacked out. So if we go to the Play Store, you guys will see what I'm talking about here. So you see how everything's been blacked out. Um, that You can find that throughout the ROM, which is a pretty neat feature. So this ROM does actually come with the Saber Kernel pre-packaged, and the Saber Kernel can be overclocked up to 1900 megahertz. Uh, I did notice that there's no performance settings, so if we go here, there's not any performance settings here, so you're not going to be over, able to overclock from the settings that's included, but you can go to the Play Store and grab a CPU control app. You'll be able to overclock it from there, so that's a pretty cool feature as well. He's also added a couple of things like the uh, CRT off animation. He's added camera shutter control, APN settings, editor. Um, if we go to the multi-window here, you can see that he's enabled any application. So you can grab any application uh, that you have installed on your phone and open up two windows for multi-window. So that is a nice feature as well. Uh, if we go to the power menu, he's included a... Extended power menu with a reboot option so we can reboot into recovery. And I think we've pretty much covered everything. Like I said, he's tweaked and modded this thing so that it performs very well and saves on battery life. And uh, I guess we can go ahead and show you guys how to install this. So we'll go directly into recovery. Okay, so once we're in recovery, we'll install this like any other ROM. We'll just wipe data, effect reset, select yes, wipe cache. Go to advanced and select wipe Dalvik cache and we'll install it from SD card. Choose it from SD card. Uh, you should head directly into your download folder. If you downloaded it to your phone, it will be in the download folder. Uh, the first thing we we'll want to flash is the ROM itself. It includes G apps, so you're not going to have to flash those separately. They come with the ROM, so you'll go ahead and install that. That'll take a few minutes and we'll go back to choose it from SD card. I'm installing this in Clockwork Mod Recovery, but you can also use Team Win Recovery Project. I actually prefer Team Win Recovery Project, but I'm using Clockwork Mod because it was uh, the only recovery that would flash Signage in Mod 10. 
um, which I have another video on that and you can check that out as well. We're going to download and we'll flash the battery. So signed Eclipse Note 2 battery. I chose the digital, but there's five others. He has Icon battery, uh, which is stock digital battery, skinny battery bar, circle battery, and the fatty battery. Uh, so we'll go ahead and flash the digital. And then we'll go back to choose it from SD card, our download folder, and we'll go to the Note 2 blue toggle. So he has two versions of toggles. You can go with either the white or the blue. I prefer the blue, so we'll go with that and install that as well. Once you're finished, you can go ahead and reboot the phone. And I'll leave you guys with the boot animation. Big shout outs to Nitroglycerin33 for an awesome ROM. You can find more of me at DroidModerX.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. I have a giveaway going on right now until tomorrow, actually, so you should definitely check out my Twitter and retweet the contest. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Galaxy Note 2, the Droid DNA, the Nexus 7, the Nexus 10, the Galaxy S3, the Galaxy Nexus, and all the other devices that I cover. If this video has helped you in any way, or if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one. With droidmoderx.com and Speedgen sent me a new case for my Galaxy Note 2. This is the Ultra Flip.